Hello to and welcome to another Light Up Block review here. For the full disclosure reasons, these were given to me as review samples. I did not have to buy these. These were given to me for the purpose of putting a video out for myself and for them. If you want to get any of these kits or any of the previous Light Up Blocks reviews, kits that, uh, kits that I reviewed on this channel, please feel free to head over to their own website. I'll put the description in the video below and also you can go check out their Facebook page or you know some other, other stuff they've done. Uh, they do many Light Up kits for different vehicles, different Lego sets. They do uh, kits like this, they're just sort of random bits that you can attach to many other sets and you can also request uh, different colors or different sets for them to make and they'll let you know if they can do it or not. Like for example here, today we're looking at Light Up Block lightsabers. Uh, I have quite a few versions here. If there's a color that you want them to do that's not here, like say an orange version, because there's orange lightsabers, not in the movies of course, but you know, in Expanded Universe or Legends. <sighs> then you can, you know, ask them to see if they can do it. Of course, you can always just get the yellow kit and just stick a yellow orange blade on the end. So you can do a lot of these, so many colors. Um, this, this yellow color is so similar to the green, by the way. And, um, so yeah. So a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, they also gave me uh, their preview samples to look at. So we'll take a look at those first before we look at the ones that they're actually selling. Here is one of their older versions. Uh, you see there that they didn't actually put it as a normal lightsaber. What they've done here is, just pull this bit off like that. They put a little LED bulb in there. See that? And in order to stick it in there, they, uh, they got this lightsaber bar here, put it on this cone and put this cone on top of the handle. Now obviously this has some um, issues because it's you know it's not like the actual Lego lightsabers because you're adding a bit to it. But and uh, you can see the blade is light enough. I'm gonna turn the lights the LED light on you see you know it's shining still pretty well and the light does go all the way to the end of the blade. Now the camera is capturing more light than I can actually see with my own eyes. Uh, my eyes can see, I mean the blade is glowing to my eyes, but the, this entire thing is pretty much lit up in the camera. Just turn the light back on. Now this is more like what I'm seeing when the light is off. Uh, so you, maybe your eyes are better than mine, so your mileage may vary depending on your eyesight. So this is attached to a 2x3 block. They also gave me a USB version back then. This was a long time ago. Again, in the galaxy far, far away. The traveling took so long. The movie was terrible on the flight, but anyway. Uh, here's a red one. And again, it's the same thing. It's got a little bulb inside the cone-shaped plastic. I'll just take this off. Like that, see? So, um, and yes, if you like this up, turn... That is, uh, for obvious reasons, the red blade does not light up as much as the blue one. The brightest one is uh, the green blades. Just, just the light just travels easier through it. And then this light off, and you see in the dark there again, it lights up pretty well. Vroom. Vroom. Look at that. I mean, that's cool. Obviously, again, with my eyes, I see a lot. This looks more like this under my eyes because you know the camera picks up the light more. Than what I do. So, enough of the prototypes. These were the prototypes, and of course, eventually, if you see my other videos that I've also put out uh, reviews, uh, you, you notice that uh, they managed to get a really, really tiny LED chip to hide inside a single stud, and that's what they've done here. Now, I actually gave them a suggestion is to drill the hole through the bottom of the handle to the other side so they can attach. Uh, a tiny, tiny LED in there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, again, I will take a photograph here so you, uh, to zoom in on the video. Right now, you should be able to see a photograph. They've hidden an LED light in there. So that's already pretty cool and awesome, and I was just impressed doing, uh, with that. So, um, you know, light this up and see, it's pretty cool. Uh, and of course, you can see that the wire is thin enough but still durable enough to hold this lightsaber up without falling over. So, if you just want a lightsaber, you can actually put this on your dashboard or something on the car and just play Wee lightsabers. So, you can definitely do that. That's pretty cool. Um, this is neat. So, you got the blue one there. Put this back a little bit. 
See the oops. Okay, this one's attached to a two by. The rest of them are all attached to a two by fours. This one's a two by three. So look at the green. The green lights up so much more than the other ones. This is pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna light them all up now. Not the not the dual plate one. I'll keep that off for now. Let's see if I can move them all forward. Straighten them up a little bit. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, in my eyes, uh, red is doing the least amount of lighting up. Again, it's not really the fault of LED, it's just because of the color of the plastic. I mean, it's still bright. Uh, green is obviously winning. Um, blue and I think green, yellow, and blue are doing, you know, brightest, second, third. Purple's fourth, and then red. <laughs> Weird, why purple is doing better than red? You know, I'm pretty sure purple's a darker color. No, it's not just the angle. I put it in a different angle. You can see it's still lighting the most. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. So, and another thing to note with these is that the blocks, just like the Iron Man set that I also filmed, the switch actually uh, pops. You can see it's extending further beyond the block, so it makes it easier to press. Now, previous light up blocks, all the switches are flat on the block. This is because they're designed to go inside sets, so you you know you're trying to have a le use the least amount of space as possible. You don't want anything popping out to get in the way. These ones have the switch outside, so you can so it's easier for you to just press them. Except for this dual blade one, for some reason it's got a flat switch. So with the dual blade one, you can see that the cable actually goes been drilled in there in the middle of the handle, and there's an LED on both sides. Now. One great thing about these is, despite having a hole drilled in there, these don't feel like they're going to break at all. The plastic is still just as good. I mean, obviously it's not, but it feels like it. I don't feel like I can actually snap this lightsaber in half any more than a you know, brand new lightsaber handle. So I'm going to light this up. Yeah, I thought it wasn't as bright as the other one, but I just compared it, it is. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, dual blade lightsaber. Again, if there isn't the color that you're looking for, you can ask them for it and they'll do it. So, there you go. Uh, that's impressive. So, I'm going to put this to the side here. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to turn the lights off now. See, it lights up pretty well. I can do better lightsaber noise than that, but my throat is pretty tired, and I think it's like two in the morning right now. So, oops, mom, mom's gonna tell me off. <laughs> so here's the USB version. You can see it's got a pretty long cable. I'm gonna untie this and just see how long it is. So yeah, um, I think it's. It's about the length of a big plastic ruler, so what that's what 20 centimeters, I think, or 30 cent, no, 20, it'll be 25 to 30 centimeters, I believe. And you can see that, that they actually, um, it's made of four wires here. If I can separate them, so you got cause there's two LEDs, so there's one in and one out for each. So I'm just gonna plug this in again. Red doesn't do too well. Um, because of the plastic colouring. I mean, it still it still lights up, but just not as bright as the other ones. So, it's off. See, it's got a nice ambient. Because if you're doing animation and stuff, this would be really useful because you, you know, the set actually lights up naturally. And of course, uh, with animation, you, but you will have to, you know, Photoshop the wire away from the set. But other than that, you know, Pretty good. So the rest of the video is pretty much I'm just going to light up many sets with these lightsabers, do some di uh, dioramas and stuff, and uh, you know you can see for yourself how much you might want these. Uh, some of the photos or video clips will go with the. You know I'll do pure lightsabers first. They also have a blaster kit with blinking LEDs, which I also do another video of, uh, and I'll put some lightsabers in there as well for the for the video or whatever for the little display. But there you go. Uh, these are the lightsaber kits. <laughs> I like them. I like lightsabers. Lots of people like lightsabers. That's why they were 
super jammed into the prequel movies for no good reason. Uh, we had an overdose of lightsabers in the prequel movies, but you know, for some reason, lightsabers are just fun. Um, this one's. I think the battery was a bit loose. It's fine though. I'm gonna light these all up and say, hey, you know, um, lightsabers need to light up, right? Uh, and this is a good alternative to the original light up sabers that Lego did themselves. Uh, first of all, you can't get any light up figures anymore unless you're lucky enough to get an older set. And second of all, with that light up kit, wow, oh, there's no wires, everything's hidden, tucked away really nicely. Uh, it does mean that the right hand of the minifigure is always holding the lightsaber, and it also means that the right hand of the figure cannot rotate. It also, and another problem with that figure is that in order to turn the lightsaber on, you have to push the head down. It's a push, a pressure pad system. If you let go of the minifigure, the lightsaber turns off. So if you, especially for someone if he's doing, for example, just for pure display or animation, you don't want the lightsaber to turn off when you let it go. Let it go. Stuff. So, <laughs> I haven't even seen that movie or heard the entire song. But yeah, so this is a good alternative to those figures for display and animation purposes. When I did the Lego, uh, uh, Lego film that I did, I forgot the name of it. Crap. Um, set in uh, Night of the Old Republic times. Uh, Lost Hope, that was it. Uh, in order to do the light effect of the lightsaber battles, I would actually point a colored LED at the set while filming, so that didn't work out too well. Now, obviously with these, it worked out a lot better. So yeah, go ahead and pick your favorite colors of lightsabers and uh, try these out. Subscribe to Justin comment below, and of course, take care and have a nice day, and of course, just stay here for the uh, slideshow. Thank <laughs> you.